Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. We have the Seven of Wands, the King of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Tower, the Hanged Man, Page of Swords, and Two of Swords, um, as well as Justice on the back of the deck. So I'm going to get some clarifiers out here. I'm going to use my good old um, Rider weight Tarot with the ma Mandala. Is that how you say that? Mandala? <laughs> on the back of the deck which I love so very much it is pretty worn because I've used it so much all right clarify the seven of wands spirit what's going on with the seven of wands all right this wanted to pop out hmm yeah I'm seeing here I want to move this crystal back a little bit um I see that you guys may have been, for those of you that resonate, will resonate with this reading. Um, there's been a lot of obstacles that you've been trying to fight through um, lately or throughout your whole life. You've had a lot of barriers to break through. And um, with the devil clarifying the seven of wands, it could be trying to clear toxicity out of your life. Toxic people, toxic situations, toxic mindsets. Codependencies is what I just heard. And yeah, and then we have the Five of Swords. Yeah. There could have been... You could have had a lot of conflict or drama in your life that left you feeling really defeated, dealing with toxic people. But I feel like you did stand up for yourself in these situations. But it still did leave you feeling a bit defensive. Page of Wands. Let's the page of wands. The emperor. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like there's someone coming through. You could be dealing with a water sign. There's someone, if not a water sign, maybe an Aries. I feel like you either in the past receive a, received a message from someone or you're going to receive a message from someone um, that's going to maybe say to you that they've gotten like the toxic um, bad, that um, have stabilized their life and taken control of their life, cleared a lot of toxicity out of their life. Um, and I think they're wanting to tell you that they want to have a new passion to beginning with you um, with the Ace of Wands on the back of the deck. Um, and that they have love for you. Um, and it's funny because the next part we have is the King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups. Three of Cups. Yeah, let me get one more card before I say anything. The Fool. Oh, okay, so... Someone here, mm, I was going to, I just saw, I was going to say something and then I saw the back of the deck. Hmm, okay. So someone, yeah, there's someone here that definitely wants to have a reconciliation with you. They want to come together with you. They may um, communicate to you that they want to meet you like out. They want to take you out on a date or they want to get together with you to have a conversation um, because they want a new beginning here um, with the fool. They want a new beginning with you. They want to take a leap of faith towards you, but I can see with the seven of swords on the back of the deck that this person in the past was um, sneaky, deceptive, liar, cheating. Um, but I feel like this is weighing heavily on them now with the, uh, we have the nine of swords um, behind the fool, not the fool, the seven of swords. Um, so this person is being very burdened by the stuff that they did to, did to you in the past or being toxic to you. Um, they're having sleepless nights. They may even be crying, um, having a lot of anxiety and fears. I feel like they feel like they may have lost out on the opportunity to have something stable and long-term and abundant. Um, so now it's really weighing heavy on them. Oh my gosh. And it's so funny because I just saw the 10 of Pentacles on the back of the deck and it's the next card that's happened to me twice in this reading. Interesting. 10 of Pentacles. They want the Ten of Pentacles with you now. Okay. 
yeah, these tried to, I saw these earlier on the back of the deck, but um, they've come out again. The Wheel of Fortune and Strength. There's been, I feel like, some type of, um, this person may have changed. Um, they could have gone through some divinely guide, like some type of awakening that was orchestrated by the divine and um, gone through a big change. I feel like they have grown. I feel like they may have, um, they feel like they have the courage now. I feel like this person may have been scared of commitment. But I feel like, or they may have been like, you ever know someone that's afraid to be happy because um, they've had so much stuff happen and like everything has always gone wrong for a person. Um, and I feel like I've had the same experience. So when they're, they're presented with an opportunity that they see potential in, that they could be happy in, that actually scares them because they're not used to having something so positive and good coming, you know, in their life. So I feel like that person may have been scared um, because things were so good between the two of you guys or the connection that they felt between the two of you guys was so strong um, and that scared them. Um, but I feel like they've had some type of like awakening and I feel like now they realize that they could have um, with the Ten of Cups, um, Long term, long term happiness and stability. I think they see that you could be a family. I think they see that you guys could have, you know, be married together, you know, have marriage. Goodness, have marriage. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Exactly. The hanged man. They've had an enlightenment. They've had an awakening and they are seeing things from a different perspective now than they did in the past. And here's the king of cups again. They definitely have realized that they didn't know before. They've realized that they love you now. They realize that they have deep feelings for you. The High Priestess. Clarify the world and the High Priestess. Hmm. What's the High Priestess? Hmm. I think that this person um, was being secretive and obviously they were being, I mean, with the seven of swords coming out earlier, that showed that this person was being deceptive in some way. Um, their action, you know, the things that they were doing to you may have been deceptive, but they were also being deceptive about how they felt about you and what they thought of you. Um, with the queen of wands being on the back of the deck, I think that they find you very passionate and attractive and successful like I think they really look up they think you're beautiful like they, they look up to you um and they think very highly of you they're very attracted to you but I feel like they have had a really hard time for some reason telling you that they feel that way about you as well as telling you that they you know have deep love for you um with the six of pentacles coming out I feel like you they want to end a cycle with the world here. They want to end a cycle of one-sidedness. I feel like you may have been giving a lot to this person emotionally. Um, you may have been really supportive of this person. Um, and they did not reciprocate that same energy to you. Um, so now I think that they want to reciprocate. You know, they want to give you the same energy that you have been giving them. And they want things to improve between the two of you guys. power mm. yeah something may have um you may have been let on on something abruptly like maybe some type of communication or you had some type of sudden clarity about a situation um and this this relationship that you have with this person may have crumbled because of this information or clarity that came in for you. Um, because I feel like before you were blocked from seeing like the reality of the situation with this person. Um, with the temperance being on the back of the deck, I really feel like you were unable to see how unbalanced the situation was with this person. 
but something happened suddenly or and it opened your eyes and let's see nine of swords Yeah, I feel like you were kind of in denial about how unbalanced the situation was. Um, but it was causing you a lot of stress. It was causing you a lot of anxiety. It was keeping you up at night. You may have been crying about this person a lot. Um, but I feel like whatever clarity came in for you, um, you realized that you needed to stick up for yourself and that you deserve so much more and that this situation wasn't fair. Um, and with the Eight of Swords being on the back of the deck, I feel like you freed yourself like, yeah, I feel like you freed yourself from the situation because it was just, it was an unfair situation. It was draining you. And I was thinking about that too. Like, I, the word energy vampire has been playing in my head all day. Like, and I feel like this person was an energy vampire to you. You had to take back your power that of, that, that person had over you. The hanged man. death hmm yeah with the hanged man coming through again i feel like and yeah then we have the queen of the queen of pentacles the queen of wands on the back of the deck um yeah, I definitely see that this person that you're dealing with is seeing the situation with you differently. They're seeing you differently, and they're seeing your connection differently. Um, they're, they've been going through a transformation. And like I said, they've been going through an awakening. Um, and now they want to offer their love to you because they see how valuable you are. Page of Swords. Six of Wands. I feel like this person has been watching you, and they see that you've been very abundant since it's I, do, I feel like you're in separation with this person. And I feel like this person sees that you have been very abundant without them. Like, you've been doing well. You've been successful. You've been, you know, it's like you've been maybe posted on social media. And they feel like you've been happy without them. They've definitely been watching you, keeping tabs on you. You may be getting a lot of attention from other people. What's the star? They're hoping that when they reach out to you to apologize and tell you that with the king of swords on the back of that, they're hoping that when they reach out to you and apologize um, and tell you the truth, you know, open up, bring you clarity that you will accept their apology. Yeah. Two of swords. This person also may have had a hard time making a decision about something they had. They were blocked, too, and that's probably why things weren't moving forward with the two of you guys, because they couldn't see things clearly, too. They could not make up their mind about what they wanted. Um, they're very mentally conflicted, and they may have had other actual um, conflicts in their life that were um, that was an obstacle. With the eight of pentacles here. Hmm. What are they working on? Hmm. They want to work on stabilizing a situation with you after they broke your heart, after they hurt you, and there was a painful ending between the two of you guys. They want stability with you guys now. They know that they, with the Five of Pentacles, they know they left you out in the cold. They know they abandoned you. They know they were breadcrumbing you in the past, but now they want to show you that they can, you know, that they are capable of having a stable connection with you. Okay. Justice. Nine of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, Ace of Wands again. Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, with the Justice card being here, they don't want to... They want to do right by you. They don't want to give up on the situation. They want you to give them one more chance 
to um, be fair to you. They want to definitely come in and communicate to you and offer you a new beginning. After a period of um, not speaking, a period of resting, healing, trying to gain clarity. So that's if you have not heard from this person, that's why they are not have not been communicating with you. They've been trying to gain clarity about the situation um, or how they feel about you. But I feel like they have definitely achieved that or they will be achieving that soon. Um, I'm trying to think, what do I want to use next? All right, let's see here. postcards with spirit deck is really calling my name and angel answers so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wrap up the reading with the postcards from spirit and i'm gonna pull some angel answers cards after i pull these um hidden truth oracle cards for you guys Oh my gosh, I wonder if you are happy without me. That's exactly what I saw with the Page of Swords. They've been watching you um, because it, 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 they've been watching you and they've, it seems from the outside that you are doing perfectly fine without them, that you're happy, you're abundant, you know, you're doing well. And I feel like that is kind of bothering them. I don't react when people mention you. So yeah, I feel like that's like a past energy. This person is really secretive about how they feel about you. I don't feel like they're, they're going to be, I feel like they're going to be opening up but I feel like in the past, they were really secretive. They had they did a really good job of hiding their feelings for you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I hope that you can forgive me one day. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're hoping that when they come in to apologize to you, that you will accept their apology. You and I were too young. I feel like that's for a group of you guys, not for everyone. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, I feel like when you and this person are together, you make them feel something that they've never felt before. And I think that that has been kind of scary for them. We both know I am not the one for you. That card for me is always a self-worth card. This person does not feel like, um, or it could just, they know that they've done you dirty. Either they have low self-esteem or they know that they've done you so dirty that they feel like they don't deserve you. We have, I regret lying to you. We definitely saw that they were being deceptive. And we have, it's time for me to heal now. So, yeah, that's what they've been doing um, during this period of time that you guys have not been speaking. I hid who I really am from you. Exactly. This person has had deep feelings for you for a while. They have just been trying to act like they don't. I feel like they also wanted to make sure that they even felt. The, they, I think they knew how they felt, but... This person doesn't trust themselves. They don't trust their feelings. So, hold up. What's up with this deck right now? <laughs> um, This is not good. How do these get all mixed up like this? All right, guys. Hold on one second. I guess it doesn't matter if they're mixed up, honestly. <laughs> Already within the next few weeks is showing itself to me. So something could happen between you and this person within the next few weeks. All right. And within the next few weeks came out again. So that could be very significant. Any messages? Oh, okay. We have yes. Let go. Compromise. Ask your angels. Big happy changes. Sorry, I know that's kind of in a weird. Big happy changes. Do one more. And unlikely. Okay. And we have remain positive on the bottom of the deck. So, Spirit wants you to know that yes, 
whatever you feel. If you guys are wondering if you and this person could come back together, if this person's going to come back to communicate with you, they definitely will. Whatever you have been, whatever your intuition has been telling you is going to happen in this situation is probably true. Um, with the let go and the compromise, um, for you and this person to be able to come back together, you're going to have to forgive them and you're going to have to let go of the past. Um, and I feel you guys are going to have to come to a compromise about some, th some things. Um, you guys are going to have to get on the same page. Someone's going to have to make some sacrifices too is what I'm hearing. I feel like it may be your person. Ask your angels. Um, if you guys are struggling mentally, um, I, I'm also feeling like you guys are really wanting to control the outcome of the situation or you guys have a certain outcome that's stuck in your head for the situation. Let go of any expectations. I feel like once you guys let go of expectations and just trust that the, the it's going to happen in divine timing. And when it's supposed to, I feel like that's probably when it's going to come in for you guys. Um, and if you guys are needing guidance at this time, they're saying, you know, ask, you know, ask them, ask the angels um, if you need guidance and support. Um, there's definitely big happy changes coming in for you guys, so no need to worry. Um, and then with unlikely and remain positive, I feel like what I feel like some of you guys, I am the same type of person. Sorry, excuse me. I think worst case scenario I hate that. That's one of my qualities about myself that I don't like. I'm trying to reprogram my brain. Um, but I always think worst case scenario. Um, but spirit saying to remain positive because those negative outcomes that you that are running through your head or those worst case scenarios that you're thinking is gonna happen, it's very unlikely that those are gonna happen. Um, so that you know, that's very reassuring they're reassuring you that you have nothing to worry about. Okay. And then I think I said, what was I going to do? Postcard from Spirit. Oh my gosh, I'm probably going to knock down this whole stack. Oh, hold on, guys. All right, I'm going to do this the smart way. <laughs> All right, let me put these down here. The messages on these cards are so, I love these cards. They always make my heart very happy. These are messages, postcards from Spirit. Alright. Messages for my collective. One card, please. Alright, that's two cards. I need one card. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Dearest you, we have a secret for you. The more you think you know, the, la the less you actually do. So if you are willing to keep an open eye, you will avoid the narrow confines of the know-it-all and open up to the unlimited potential that can be discovered only by the curious optimism, the curious optimist. Curiosity allows you to discover new things, see the world from a different perspective, and find answers to questions you might not even know you have. Right now, whatever is going on, it's important to know that you are not aware of all the aspects of it you need to see to make an informed choice. You might be projecting a story that isn't totally true. So moving forward, your mantra could be, I don't know, or that's interesting, as you keep your mind and heart open to new experiences and, richer ex and a richer existence overall. All of us over here want you to be all you can be. We are cheering for you. Can you hear us? So that really does go along with what I was just talking to you guys about. Um, just stay optimistic. Um, you got, there, there are things about the situation that haven't been revealed to you yet. You don't know all the information yet. Um, so just stay, remain positive and remain patient. Um, and they will reveal everything that you need to know about the situation to be able to make a decision about this person um, in divine timing. So... Yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I have for you guys today. 